Hello and welcome to another episode. This is for new Kia EV9 owners and new Kia EV6 owners who might not have seen any of my videos over the last two years. I've been a Kia EV6 owner for over two years now. The EV9 is built on the same platform, which is eGMP, as the Kia EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the 6, as well as the Genesis GV60. So what I've experienced also covers what's in the EV9 and those other models from the Hyundai group. Here are my top 10 tips. Number one, carry a 10 millimeter spanner in the car with you. There are so many computers and controls in these cars and sometimes, very rarely, they do glitch. So disconnecting the 12 volt battery for 30 seconds can sometimes be the only way to clear a problem such as it's a very rare failure it, to go into drive, also known as zombie mode. I've had this just once in my whole two years. Number two, Consider carrying a 12 volt battery jump start pack like this one. I'll put some links in the description because you can't get this one anymore. But that allows you to bump start the car without any issues and gets you out of trouble or being stranded. Number three, always carry the manual physical key. In the EV6, it's integrated into one and the same key. But in the EV9, you get a separate one. So it looks like that. If a 12 volt problem occurs, then there would be no power to get into the car, let yet alone a way to pop the bonnet or frunk to jumpstart it with a 12 volt battery. This especially would be the case if you use digital key two or just a fingerprint reader. So it, it's best to carry it anyway. Number four, your on-screen range is estimated based on driving style and a few weeks of driving history. Just because the car's range was over 300 miles when you bought it new doesn't mean you will always get that in all weathers and conditions. Speeds greater than 60 miles an hour reduce range much quicker than driving around town at 30 to 40 miles an hour. Number five, if you want an easy driving experience, set the car to eco mode and enable eye pedal to achieve maximum range. The alternative, which some owners use, is to use the regen paddles. It really can be too much faffing though and a possible driver distraction. But each to their own, whatever takes your fancy. Number six, when charging, ensure that the charge cable is fully pushed home into the car's charge port. On the EV6, if the cable is not fully inserted, then the lock mechanism can go into a click loop where the lock tries to lock continuously and can drain your 12 volt battery if the car is powered off. Number seven, one of the most frequently asked questions is, is what is that big flashing light on top of the dash for? It's actually the main traction battery topping up the 12 volt battery when the car is not being used. The car has a 12 volt charging and monitoring system called the Vehicle Charging Management System, or VCMS for short, which determines when the 12 volt needs topping up. Number eight, if your 12 volt lead acid battery drains fully for any reason, then it will no longer be reliable and need replacing. It's no good flogging a dead horse, <laughs> it just will need replacing. In the UK, the 12 volt battery has a two year warranty. Number nine, use battery preconditioning to achieve faster rapid DC charging. You can do this via the navigation by selecting a rapid charger as a destination or on the EV9 there is also a manual battery heat button in the EV section of the infotainment screens. Number 10. If your infotainment gets stuck or Kia Connect gets stuck or your HVAC controls get stuck on your EV9, you simply have to press the reset button then on the infotainment system. There is one more big elephant in the room that I've not mentioned. Very important and it requires a lot more detail. Yes, I agree, you shouldn't have to worry about it, but some, not all, of these cars have 12 volt battery problems from time to time. The cause is not always obvious, and there have been quite a few on the EV9 already, and the cause, the cause is not yet fully known. So, special one. Number 11, although it's a top 10, this is 11. Look after your 12 volt battery. Be aware of things that can drain it without you realizing. Also be aware of when it gets topped up. So what can drain the 12 volt battery? Overuse of Kia Connect status updates. The number one reason on the EV6 was giving access to your electricity provider to, to remote control when your car started and stopped charging on cheap rate. I'd avoid this method at all costs. If the utility company already has your login and password for Kia Connect, then change your password to prevent this. The following occur when the car is not powered on or an accessory mode. The accessory mode is the in-between mode between off and being fully on. Leaving the power tailgate open too long. Leaving the power bonnet or frunk on the EV9 open too long. 
opening and closing power trunk front too many times in quick succession. Leaving doors open and ajar too long. Constant use of the powered seat functions. There are many more seats in the EV9 that are powered. Constantly folding and unfolding mirrors if you have approach and lock enabled, especially during car washes where you walk around and it gives an open and closing when you've got the key on you. Hardwire and a dash cam or other device that creates a phantom 12 volt power drain. If you do have one hardwired, you need one that shuts off. Running the infotainment system, you will normally get a 12 volt warning whilst doing this. Using any other function that drains 12 volt while car is off or in accessory mode. So what charges the 12 volt battery? Having the car on and ready. Driving the car. The vehicle charging management system or VCMS charges the car when it's not being used as mentioned in point seven above. Charging via AC or DC also tops at the 12 volt at the same time as you're charging the main traction battery. Turning on utility mode. This is good for when you are parked up for a while. Also the car cannot be driven off in this state without restarting with the key present. So utility mode is good if you're just sitting there and you want to listen to music and you're parked up. Using remote park assist, so remotely powering on the car, the power on button. Running remote climate on Kia Connect. This has been known to bring 12 volt back to life since it forces 12 volt battery to charge without turning on all the car screens and systems. The last good one is plugging in your vehicle to load adapter into the charge port. You don't even have to press the button, just plug it in. Sometimes it can even bring the car back from the dead if the doors won't open, but only if there is enough power left in the 12 volt to power the contactor relay to allow the traction battery to start the 12 volt charge process. I will put links to some of my other videos where I've covered a lot of this and some items you might find useful in the show notes in the description. I hope you find this all useful. Thank you for watching.